not enough is made out of out of Friday night football games. It brings a community together. It brings young men. Uh, maybe the only family they know. The only father in his league The father of Marysville football is Coach Walter Braun. Since 1965, he has spent Friday nights with his family of young athletes. Back tells here tonight at Viking Stadium, we're ready to go, and Kip Jones will boot it off. High and long. This season, the toughest battle for the coach is not between the goalposts, but along the sideline. A year ago, Walter Braun suffered a stroke and nearly died. Now, each step is a test of determination. I wanted to get back doing something besides just being a vegetable. And this uh, made me do something. Uh, away from here. I like being with the kids. They make me feel good, and I have a lot of fun with them. Hole 31. It is especially fun when the play the coach calls goes for a touchdown. Throws up, he's got for Kurt, if he can get it to him, he can get it to him, he's going to go, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, Not so fun when the officials make a questionable call. Come here, come here, come here. The stroke has affected Walter Braun emotionally as well as physically. Marysville principal Joe Grosser stands by the coach on and off the field. This guy expects, teaches discipline. What's lacking in the world? His discipline, he teaches it. Oh, 31 pass. He still gave an opportunity to not just talk about coming back and bouncing back and hanging in there and being tough. How'd he do it? Players call Walter Braun the godfather. The voice may be soft, but it commands attention and respect. I tell them they'll marry each other and they will bury each other because the friendships they meet on the football field are lasting friendships. Walter Braun says those friendships are more important today because of the change in the family structure. I have four captains and every one of the four comes from a broken home. A state championship and eight undefeated seasons has made winning a Viking tradition in Marysville. A homecoming loss to arch rival Imlay City was especially tough on the coach, but the sentiments and the support of the community was evident during a halftime ceremony honoring Walter Braun's 26 seasons. And focusing on the kids, it's easy to see the type of commitment that Mr. Braun has to not only the game of football, but, but to the, the young, young people, people that serve under him, him and play for him proudly. It takes a lot of courage to strap on a football helmet. It's taken Mr. Braun a lot of courage to be with us this season. For the Newsbeat, I'm Emory King.